Hi everyone, this is Brittany from Made for Math. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be covering equivalent ratios. Now if you're just wondering what is a ratio, you can check out a video I made a few weeks back on an introduction to ratios. But today we're going to specifically tackle equivalent ratios. So what does the word equivalent mean? Well, the, equi the word equivalent comes from two Latin root words, meaning equal in value. So when we're talking about equivalent ratios, we're talking about two ratios that are equal. A ratio, as a quick reminder, is just a comparison of two quantities. So let's relate this to something in real life. So I thought I would use an example of mixing lemonade. So let's say my lemonade recipe calls for two cups of lemon juice for every three cups of water. Well, this is a ratio because it's a comparison of two quantities, the amount of lemon juice to the amount of water. Now, I can build this ratio using these Cuisinaire rods. And by doing so, it can help us figure out some other ratios that would be equivalent to it. So for example, so if I, label this to show you that this is going to represent the amount of lemon juice and then the green rod is representing the water. We'll say I wanted to double my recipe. Well if we build that out that means I'm going to take this quantity here and double it. So twice as much. Okay, so now we can see doubling the ratio. We now have four cups of lemon juice, excuse me, to every six cups of water. Okay, well maybe I need to, I'm having a big group of people over, I actually need to triple my recipe. Well, we can do the same thing, but remember the word triple means times three. So I'm gonna take this same quantity and I'm going to triple it. Okay, and same thing, if I rearrange, we can see another equivalent ratio but this time we are tripling the recipe. So we end up with how much lemon juice? Well, two, four, six, because we have three groups of two. So we have six cups of lemonade, excuse me, six cups of lemon juice for every three, six, nine, nine cups of water, okay? And we could even, maybe we're gonna make a, a whole ton of lemonade for a party. Well, let's say, for example, I'm going to use a total of, let's see, Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups of three here. So that would be nine times three. Say I'm going to use 27 cups of water. You might ask yourself, well, how much lemon juice would I need to mix with that? Well, Remember we said that together this was 
nine groups of three. Well, that would mean we would need nine groups of the lemon juice, which is quantities of two cups each. So I'm going to take one of these, and I need now, now I need to duplicate it nine times. Okay, so there's my nine groups of two. So how much lemon juice would that be total? Well, that's nine times two because groups of means multiplication. It's a faster way, a more efficient way to do repeated addition. So nine groups of two, that would tell me I would need 18 cups of lemon juice. So for this ratio, it would be 18 cups of lemon juice to every 27 cups of water. That's a lot of lemonade. Well, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And if you are interested in looking into multisensory lessons for your child, please go check out our website at www.madeformath.com. This is just a small snippet of what we can offer you. Have a great day.